Here we go, folks. Thursday's final round of the Golf Association of Philadelphia's 25th Middle Amateur Championship brought back Wednesday's top 77 players to Fieldstone Golf Club for a chance at the title. And just like in Wednesday's contest, the weather played a big role as the early fair conditions went to the dogs. Shortly after the final groups teed off at around the midday mark, the winds arrived and stuck around the beautiful Greenville, Delaware course all day, wreaking havoc on every player and their chances of carding a better score than in their previous round. That is, except for Field Zone native Rand Mendez, who managed to card the best second day score of 73. Not a single player finished the day at or below par, a fact that did not escape even the top of the leaderboard at the start of the final round. Two-time Mid-Am champ Michael McDermott of Marion found out right away how difficult it would be to repeat his day one score of 200 par 69 as he bogeyed his first two holes of the day. A tough realization that also came across to his fellow playing partners Michael Dominic of Phoenixville who caught it at 6 and Bill Lawler of Fox Hill Country Club who came out of the gates with a 7 on the par 4 first. Meanwhile, in the group just ahead of him, the defending mid-am champ Chip Lutz of Ledrock Golf Club, who also started his day with a bogey, managed to register birdies on holes numbers 2 and 3 to fall into a tie with McDermott early on before taking the outright lead after 22 holes when McDermott bogeyed the par 4 fourth hole. Lutz would hold on to that lead through 24 holes until disaster struck on the par 4 seventh hole. In an incredibly admirable move, Lutz called a penalty on himself after taking relief from an unplayable lie in which he stopped the ball he dropped while it was still rolling into its position on the course. He then incorrectly redropped, and before all was said and done was assessed a total of five penalty strokes, one for the unplayable lie, two for exerting influence on his drop ball before it came to rest, and two more for playing from a wrong place on the course. What he did is, is what golf's all about. and. Uh... You know he he's a great example in that in that area to guys like me, but especially younger guys who should hear the story. Shaken but not stirred, Lutz managed to card this fantastic birdie on the very next hole and finished the day in a tie for fifth with Rich Prochnick of Westchester Golf and Country Club. Lutz's playing partner Ray Thompson also hung in there with great par saves like this one on number eight to finish in a tie for third place with field zone local Rand Mendez. Now back in the final group, McDermott kept things on an even keel with a par on number 5, the spectacular sand save on number 6, and another par on number 7. I hit a bunker shot to about 5 feet. And they're the things in any tournament. If you miss that putt, you probably go on and keep making bogeys. And then he really dialed it in with the flat stick with this great birdie putt on number 8 to take a commanding lead on the field. But fast forward to the 15th hole and things didn't look as comfortable for the Bryn Mawr resident as the main threat came from within his own group in a scrappy Dominic who carted a par on the long 14th to McDermott's double bogey. And then almost cut into the lead even more after just missing this birdie putt on 15. 16 presented the same scenario with Dominic having a great look at birdie and McDermott needing a chip and a putt to save par. Yeah, I just, uh, I had a couple good birdie opportunities, I missed them. I just misread the putts. McDermott finally gave one more back to cut the lead to two on Dominic after this three putt on number 17 green. But unfortunately for Dominic and the rest of the field, it was too little too late as McDermott unleashed a monstrous drive in the par fifth 18th hole, leaving only a six iron into the green for the long ball hitter from Marion. I hit a big, I hit a big drive there. I was, I was a little mad at myself, which, which gives adrenaline, and I knew what I needed to do. All that was left after chipping up was a two putt for par, and the Golf Association of Philadelphia has its first time, three time middle amateur champion in Michael McDermott at the silver anniversary of the event, where he caught it a two round score of two over par. And an ecstatic Michael Dominic took second place all to himself with a two round total score of four over par. I got the most out of my game. I couldn't, you know, I couldn't expect anything else. This was the best round of golf I played in competition, I think, in my life, really. Under the conditions and the way the wind was blown, the way everything was, for me to be up there with all these great players, to have the same, I don't know for what the low score today was, but for me to be right around it is, uh, is unbelievable. Feels great. Feels great. It's uh, it's a tough tournament. There's tons of good mid ams in Philadelphia, and uh, I felt good after yesterday. I knew that um, 
if I played well today, I had a good chance to win. And winning it, it feels great. You know, I've um, sort of at a good point in my life right now. Just had the baby. People joke that, you know, the golf game will go away, but, but things are really settled and good and work and family and golf. And so this is pretty cool.